Hey there everybody, welcome back to the channel. This will be a very brief video, as in I'm not gonna show you exactly how to do this uh, step by step, but it's very, 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 very simple. Uh, if you know how to operate a drill and cut a two by four, you can definitely do this. So stay with me, we'll be right back. I'll show you how I hung my mom's 2012 JK uh, hard top and from the ceiling. So here's the top. Sorry about that. You might have heard the kids yelling in the background, but here is a 2012 JK top for a two door Wrangler. Uh, you see the freedom panels are on the top up there. This is what I did. She uh, bought a soft top and wanted a place to put this because she may actually be selling this. I don't know if she likes the soft top through the winter, but she got a best top. I think it's the NX soft top, which is the twill fabric, which is really nice. Uh, and it's a really, really nice top with the Sunrider function. Anyway, I'm gonna show you exactly what I did. Uh, I'm not going to take you step by step because like I said, it's already done. And I didn't get any footage of it. But all I got was four ratchet straps and I got the type where you can pull it. You don't have to actually ratchet the, the strap. You, you have the, the friction where it'll actually bite into it and you just pull it to the area that you want it. I got 10 foot long, they're plenty long. I mean, you could probably get uh, six footers, but the 10 foot long, depending on your ceiling height, got me all the way down to the floor. And I slowly basically lifted it up a little bit at a time uh, till I got it right, right to there. So you could actually probably back your vehicle underneath this and sit it on and off that way. This two by four might kind of get in your way, but um, anyway, so you'll need four ratchet straps. You'll need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, of the uh, eyes right there. And I got eyes that were um, lag screws. They're basically eye bolts that are rated for 325 pounds a piece. That is way overkill for this top, uh, which probably weighs maybe 100, 150 pounds. I don't know what it weighs with the freedom panels up on top uh, and the glass and everything in it. But this is what I did. So I got my four ratchet straps. I got my eight screw eyes and the two by fours. The two by fours are cut at 80 inches, right? That is 80 inches, and my eyes are screwed in at two inches off the edge, all right? These eyes up here are apart 40 inches from this eye to this eye. So 40 inches there to there, and an 80 inch two by four, two inches from the edge, you got your screw eye right here. Now, what you do wanna do is, I've seen other people do this, take a zip tie and go around your top, at those holes, just so this thing, as these things wanna, you know, sway back and forth, because the whole thing is gonna move around a little bit, as you can see. You don't want that to get knocked off. This is gonna be sitting in long-term storage. Uh, so this is a uh, way that I did it, and I have the freedom panels on top, and I actually have a ratchet strap between the two. You can't really see it up there, but just holding them together so that the one over here on this side does not fall off. You see it kind of hangs over a little bit. Those are the freedom panels that go right in the front here. The windshield will be right here and you can take those little like, almost like a T-top, but it's not really a T-top. Take them out on a nice day. So anyway, I just wanted to show you this, uh, what I did to hold this up out of the way. And then as you can see, I can put the mower underneath of it and whatever else I may want to do uh, to get it up off the floor and out of the way and have plenty of room for activities. <laughs> got so much room for activities <laughs> so all right guys hope you like this video thank you so much for watching and uh hope you found it informative please uh leave a comment down below of your thoughts and also uh like this video give it a thumbs up and uh we'll catch you next time thanks for watching